Hello and welcome to another Cliff Reviews Art House. This time I'm reviewing This Blessed Plot, directed by Mark Isaacs. It's been a little while since I had the experience of watching a film where I have the feeling that it's really fresh in terms of its filmmaking. So many good films are entertaining, but basically new versions of something that we've seen before. I love it when a film comes along that takes me by surprise. This blessed plot is totally original. It's weird, it's eccentric, at times it seems like it's mocking, while at other times it feels like it's being really affectionate and nostalgic. The acting is really wooden and amateur, and at one level you could easily feel that this film is ridiculous, but it's strangely compelling throughout, and by the end I have to say that I felt a little bit emotional. I don't really know what, but it did touch something in me. I love the genuine blurring between fact and fiction. We really don't know how much is true of what we're seeing. There are enough facts in the film which reveal that not all of what we're seeing is true. But I left with the feeling that the documentary elements of the film, the detail of some of these people's lives, is true. I like the fact that the Chinese filmmaker Laurie is making a film within the film, but we don't always know whose camera we're looking through. Although, that said, Laurie is in the shot a lot, so we know at these points that it's the filmmaker's camera. At one level, the film is about nothing. It takes the banal and the mundane in a small Essex village and lets it speak for itself. It's really understated, but somehow it feels like it's saying a lot. It covers themes such as grief, loyalty, friendship, tradition, history, religion, spirits, ghosts, politics and socialism. Yet in some ways it only scratches the surface of each of these themes. It actually is brilliantly constructed, I think, because it feels like it's deep. But in another way, the whole thing feels quite superficial, so it never gets weighed down with any one aspect. At the beginning we're told that this is a documentary fiction film pageant. It sounds like it would be a mess and unlikely to work. But this film really worked for me, and it delivers on that description. If you're in the mood for something creative and quirky, I highly recommend this film. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.